Greetings viewers. What we have here today is a video of this server right here. Doesn't really look like much. It's just a standard little PC case, but it is a server. It is running Open Media Vault. And today we are going to look at one of the drives on this machine, which you can see is very definitely not in the best of health. And in the process, I will show you how to replace a failed drive in a software RAID array created by MD RAID under Open Media Vault. So let's get started. All right. I'm hoping the resolution on this is going to be okay because this is only 1600 by 900. It's the best that I could do without getting a laptop up that's got a 1080p display because I don't even know what laptop I've got that's got a 1080p display. So, in any event, what you want to do to remove the drive is you go to RAID Management. You go to... Remove. And you'll see Remove Devices from RAID Array. And the one that we want happens to be this one. And we'll go ahead and we'll select Remove. And it'll screw up because, of course, it'll screw up. You know, why won't it screw up? Now it's not even there. Okay. Well, whatever, I guess. So now it says it's degraded, which is good because it should be degraded because the drive has been removed from it. So at this point, we're going to proceed to hardware switching. So I'll be right back thanks to the magic of video editing. Okay, so here we are. You've now got your machine powered down, the faulty drive has been removed from the RAID array, and you've taken everything, you've done everything that you need to do to get the machine ready for a drive swap. Now, I am lucky because this machine actually happens to have, in the front here, it's got a hot swap drive bay, and the drive that I want to switch, which is the only Seagate drive in the machine, happens to be in that little hot swap bay. Now I call it a hot swap bay, but it's not actually a hot swap bay. But uh, it is there, so we're going to go ahead and switch it out. Okay, so there's your drive installed. So we put it back where it came from. We can power the machine back up. Make sure that it boots without error. It's going to complain about there not being a keyboard. Which is fine. I don't really care about that. I just want to make sure that it's actually going to start and not give me error messages. It might, it might complain either about the RAID array being degraded or about whatever the contents are on that drive because I don't know what they are should be up now we can go back to the web console and do the software setup so now that you've replaced your drive you should see it here in disks hopefully you took a good uh, good note of what the serial number was because I sure didn't however we can come in here to smart and devices and we can see it is the one here that's not being monitored because it hasn't been in this machine before so we want slash dev slash SDD we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the information which looks pretty good there's nothing out of the ordinary here I do want to monitor that device, so we'll go ahead and we'll put that on. We'll go back to disks. We can do this configuration change later. Come to that, and we will wipe it. I do want to wipe the device. Should be able to just do a quick wipe. And that's it. So now it's been wiped. We'll go ahead and we will apply that configuration change. Let it do its thing. Then we come down to RAID management. We see our degraded array here. 
we go to recover and we add this obviously we can't change any of those we hit OK and now it will go to recovering and you need to wait for this to finish which could take a very long time we'll go ahead and we'll apply the configuration changes and that is the last step to replacing the drive as long as everything works what happens often with RAID 1 arrays is one drive will fail and then during the recovery process that this is going through right now the second drive will fail which is why it's always a good idea to not just trust RAID to save all your data you should also have a backup in place which I do so if this fails it's not that big of a deal and that is how you replace a failed drive in an MD RAID software RAID array under Linux and Open Media Vault. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below.